Edward Luther, 1980. Green field. Big city. Imagine enough. Mama, Mama, Mama. Engage the stage. 88. Fair haired Mary. Nine lives. Mighty night. Desire fire. School shoes. Food shoes. Reducing students. Absolute opportunity. Poor war. Good book. Poor rural tour, truly cruel. Obey Olivia, home alone. Roman coat. Hall pause, water for data. Boys toil, noisy voice, poor door. John's office, horrible horror. Calm father, hard hearted. How now? Mountain house, far car. Our hours, Colonel Burr stirring, her first rehearsal, contrary secretary, comfortable sofa, wonderful constable, thoroughly discouraged. Will you, William, will you, William, will you, William? Did you, would you, could you, William? Did you, would you, could you, William? Did you, would you, could you, William? Don't you, won't you, can't you, William? Don't you, won't you, can't you, William? Don't you, won't you, can't you, William? People feel they can guarantee the sweet for sweet Phoebe. The ability of the English actress was really exaggerated. Ethel spent 77 cents to get the best eggs and vegetables. Fancy the fascinating character Harry Cannon married Anne Hammond. The athletic man catches ants in his handkerchief for Harry. I can't ask Francis for half the dance. Rude Ruth Two rooms are near the school pool. Pull the poor Worcester wool from the cruel cook good cookbook. Oblige the Olympia police and omit Othello. All orphan daughters thought they bought straw. Paul paused, then walked toward the lawn for water. What horrible foreign correspondent in Washington washed the hot copper coffee pot in Dorothy's office. I want a model, modern model watch. What was it? It was. It wasn't. Barbara's large apartment at Harvard was near the garage of her father's market. The absurd girl is a connoisseur of turtles. The colonel's nurse rehearses words at work. Actually, contrary to the customary government circumstances in America, the extraordinary secretary offered the actor's picture. I wonder if Murray's mother and brother love the cunning constable. Hail Yale's 88 sailors delayed in jail for, for A. A, it's time to acquire the entire choir's file. Boyish, royster doister, toils and toils for oil. Oh, no, Joe, don't go for Mr. Stoll Cole. Ring out the towel as you pronounce the vowels in how now. Were the dear experienced auctioneer and the ideal career cashier really here? Various parents said farewell to fair-haired Harry Mary Carey. Alluring poor Stuart endured the rural tour during the regulated sure cure. More and more the court ignores an encore. I can see the far star from my car. The stupid student of Stewart's Institute sang the Duke's new tune on Tuesday in the studio. Will you bring peculiar, brilliant Italian William to value Julia's millions on WWSW. He thrusts his fist against the post and still insists he sees the ghost. The singer with a long finger sang a long English language song on Long Island. 
very Mary Mary married Harry Harry Harris from Harrisburg. Round the rugged rock, the rascal, ragged rascal ran. Tom met Tilly for tea on the train to Trenton. Rehearsing makes Horace hoarse, and hoarseness is even more harassing to his humble hobby horse. Now, if this hoarseness harasses Horace's horse, how it must affect Horace. Actually, it haunts Horace. Edward Luther, March 6, 1981. E. Green Fields. Fleeing sheep. I. Big city. Imagine enough. Here. Merely weary. F. Ethel and Emma. A merry American. A. Engage the stage. 88. Here. Fair-haired Mary. A. Anne's hand. Harry's character. A. I can't dance. Ask the class. I. Nine lives. Mighty night. Fire. Desire fire. Ooh. Cool shoes. Fruit juice. Yuck. Reducing students. Absolute opportunity. Oh. Whole world. Good book. Poor. Poor rural tour. Surely cruel. Oh. Obey Olivia. Home alone. Roman coast. Oh. Paul Paul. Water for daughter. Boy. Boy's toil. Noisy voyage. Four. Four door. Off. John's office. Horrible horror. Ah. Tom father. Hard hearted. How. How now. Mountain house. Ah. Far car. Hour hours. Er. Uh, Colonel Burr stirring. Her first rehearsal. Contrary secretary. Comfortable sofa. Ah. Wonderful constable. Thoroughly discouraged. Will you, William, will you, William, will you, William? Did you, would you, could you, William? Did you, would you, could you, William? Did you, would you, could you, William? Don't you want you, can't you, William? Don't you want you, can't you, William? Don't you want you, can't you, William? Key sentences for the vowel and diphthong sounds of spoken English. The people feel that they can guarantee the sweet for sweet Phoebe. The ability of the English actress was really exaggerated. Ethel spent 77 cents to get the best eggs and vegetables. Fancy. The fascinating character Harry Cannon married Anne Hammond. The athletic man catches ants in his handkerchief for Harriet. I can't ask Francis for half the dance. Rude Ruth, two rooms are near the school's pool. Pull the poor Worcester wool from the cruel cook's good cookbook. A 
oblige the Olympia police and omit Othello. All orphans' daughters thought they bought straw. Paul paused, then walked toward the lawn for water. What horrible foreign correspondent in Washington washed the hot copper coffee pot in Dorothy's office? I want a modern model wash. What was it? It was, it wasn't. Barbara's large apartment at Harvard was near the garage of her father's market. The absurd girl is a connoisseur of turtles. The colonel's nurse rehearses words at work. Actually contrary to, govern to the customary government circumstances in America, the extraordinary secretary offered the actor's picture. I wonder if Murray's mother and brother love the cunning constable. Hail Yale's 88 sailors delayed in jail for A. A, it's time to acquire the entire choir's files. Boyish Royster Doyster toils and toils for oil. Oh no, Joe. Don't go for Mr. Stoll's coal. Bring out the towel as you pronounce the vowels in how now. With a dear experienced auctioneer and the ideal career cashier really here, various parents said farewell to fair haired airy Mary Terry. Alluring poor Stuart endured the rural rural tour during the regulated sure cure. More and more the court ignores an encore. I can see the I can see the far star from my car. The stupid student of Stuart's Institute sang the Duke's new tune on Tuesday in the studio. Will you bring peculiar, brilliant Italian William to value Julia's millions on WWSW? He thrusts his fist against the post and still insists he sees the ghost. The singer with a longer finger sang the long English language song on Long Island. Very Mary Mary married Harry Harry Harris from Harrisburg. Round the rugged rock the ragged rascal ran. Tom met Tilly for tea on the train to Trenton. Rehearsing makes horrid horse, and hoarseness is even more harassing to his humble hobby horse. Now if this hoarseness, Harris's horse is horse, how it must affect Horace. Actually, it haunts Horace. Ed, Hamlet's advice to the players. Speech to speech, I pray you, as I pronounce it to you, trickingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of your players do, I had at least the town quiet for my life. Nor do not call the air too much with your hands up. But you all gently, from the very current, tempest, and as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a tempest that may give it smoothness. Oh, it offends me to the soul to hear a robustious, terribly painted fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, to split the ears of the grouses who, for the most part, are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I would have that the fellow whip for overdoing terminus and out carriage perish. Pray you avoid it. Be not too pain, neither. But let your own discretion be your duty. Give the action to the word, the word to the action, with this special observance that you ought to.
accept not the modesty of nature. For anything so overdone is from the purpose of play, whose end, both at the first and now, was and is to hold this world, the mirror of the nature. To so virtue her own feature, scorn her, her own image, and the very age and body of the time his form is pressure. Now this overdone, or comes hard on, though it may be unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious greedy. The sense of the witch one must in your allowance all away a whole theater of others. Oh, there be players I have seen play and heard others praise, and that highly, not to speak it so famous, that neither having the accent of Christian, nor the gait of Christian, pagan, nor man, has so strutted and bellowed that I have often of taken journey that it made men and not made them well. They imitated humanity so abominably. Oh, reform it altogether, and let those that play your clowns speak no more than is set down to them. For there be of them that will themselves laugh to set on some quantity of barren spectators to laugh too. Though in the meantime some necessary question of the play be best to be considered. That ability and shows a most pitiful ambition in the fool that uses it. Go, make you ready.
And then it would begin. I'd be gone away on some flat and I'd close my eyes to enjoy it. And then I would see this butcher shop. Nothing but flesh would come into my mind. Burning flesh. Bursting flesh. Flesh come out of the butcher's And one day, I just thought I got me going to work right in my grave. And I was in the hospital. For at least, that's the way I, I remember it. I was in the hospital. And I had to think. I had to think. And that Amber taverns of the secret earth, from gates of darkness square, 
far from the company of God, Hades governs his colony. From the dead I come. I am Polydorus, son of Hecuba and King Priam, my father, when Troy was ringed round with telling spears, fearing the city's capture, smuggled me away to Thrace, to the palace of his old friend, Polymestra. Since I fell 